supplies are round, they are clay lined, and they receive their water from the surrounding landscape. Over 95% of the recharge um, to the aquifer comes from playas. So that connection to the aquifer, the farming economy, and how people benefit is especially important in Texas. As far as recharge for the playa, it all starts with the clay basin and the watershed. So water will fall into the watershed and then will flow into the clay bottom. And if the clay bottom has been dry for any amount of time, these huge cracks form and the water will go through those cracks. And that's the water that goes to the aquifer. And then over a period of 24 to 36 hours, those clay cracks will swell shut, and the playa will seal, and that's when a playa starts holding water. When the playa becomes full, the water goes around the playa through an area called the annular ring and continues to recharge. The Ogallala Aquifer, by all accounts, took potentially hundreds of thousands of years to millions of years to develop to, into what it was 150 years ago when the area was first beginning to be settled and, and folks started punching wells and started pulling water and they felt like they had an endless supply of water. We found out pretty quickly that's not the case. With current water use, uh, there's estimates out there that say within another 50 years, a majority of the aquifer could be mostly to completely dry. The Texas Playa Conservation Initiative uh, really began back in 2013, but we didn't start working to get projects on the ground until about 2015. So it's been about two and a half years that we've been actively trying to work with landowners for restoration. And it was pretty slow at first, but they're all conservationists at heart, and knowing that they're doing something that's going to benefit future generations is, is important to them. It's beginning to gain momentum, but uh, we, we do definitely still have a long way to go. There's a lot of playas uh, on this landscape that uh, are pitted, that need pits filled. I feel like Texan by Nature is going to step in and really help us to make better connections with industry, with uh, hopefully local communities. Right now, the way we operate, it's with, with the individual landowners, but for cities like Lubbock and Amarillo and all the smaller communities in the area as well, we really need to make them understand where their water is coming from and why it's important that we have healthy playas. My wife and I made the decision to move uh, to this area about five or six years ago and we've started a family here and so it's important for my kids to have clean drinking water uh, and to have water available. And the grim reality is if we don't start treating playas better, working to conserve them, restore them, it's kind of frightening over the, you know, the next couple decades to 50 years to a century, the type of impact that could have on this landscape.